Hey guys, this is Luminous coming you guys with a pro Dota commentary. This commentary is affiliate with DC and for more commentary content, check us out on DotaCommentaries.com. If you've been paying attention to the loading screen, this is a 6.72 game. This is a show match between MYM and Navi. Now this replay has been out for quite a while, but lately there hasn't been too much replay and I haven't been really following out the competitive scene too closely lately because I was moving and doing a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go back to an older game, but I don't think you guys would mind because this game it's just gonna be insane. This is a show match for Dar. Uh, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's a new, uh, I guess, a client. Um, I haven't personally played on it, but I heard a lot of good things about it. Apparently, one of the good things is a reconnect feature. So you know, you don't if you drop, you could reconnect back, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, let's get into the game here. MYM and Navi they face each other numerous, numerous, numerous amount of times. Unfortunately, all those times uh, that have to face up to each other, Navi's been winning most of them. Um, I, I'm not too sure exactly why. Uh, one reason would be just Navi's simply a better team, but MYM lately hasn't been performing as well as they uh, they have. Um, but they did win, you know, a couple of tournaments. So I I, I don't know. I don't know. Now this is a show match again, so I'm most likely they won't be playing serious. There's not going to be too much of a pick ban analysis. Um, I snuck a peek at the parser and there's some, oh my god, there's some interesting heroes. I'm going to speed through the picks and bans. Of course, I'm going to talk about some of the picks, but there's there's not much to talk about the bans. There's like, oh, you know, it's not like they banned a Pugna thinking that they would pick. Uh, into a caster heavy team. They just banned Pugna because P Pugna is a good hero. Um, the hero that they're going to be picking are uh, uh, w <laughs> pub heroes is the best way to put that. Heroes that just run in, chase, chase for a long, long time. Um, but this is Navi, so Navi most likely is going to play a um, aggressive pushing. And the Melk says GG go next as soon as the pig, pit, pit lord is picked and uh, pusher street corrects and there's no next game this is a show match and a uh, pit lord uh, if you're wondering why pit lord was nerfed in 6.7 c um 6 6.72 c um i think this game will showcase a good reason why he is going to be nerfed pit lord in every game showcase why he's a i mean originally in the old pit lord in my honest opinion i thought he was a really really good hero already um i of course in the biggest difference in, in terms of uh, the buffs is that his uh, firestorm now damaged towers, ex explosion now heals, and uh, the pit of Malphus also summons more corpses so the explosion will heal from the corpses. Those are you know big buffs but as the original hero I thought he was pretty good in terms of AoE crowd control. Um, a lot of players farm too much with it and I think that's what's wrong with that hero. Um, I mean, you have a five storm; it's very easy to farm. But a lot of heroes, or a lot of players, just over farm on Pit Lord, and I think that's what ultimately uh, forced him to get a buff. And now that he's, you know, buffed and nerfed, and you know, whatever. Uh, now in 6.72C, he's no longer in a CM mold, but in 6.72B, which is when we're when this match happened, um, <laughs> milk, milk, show match, tryhards. Oh, MYM. MYM is uh, feeling a little hate. I mean, this is this is one of the most tryhard lineup you could come up with. Because Tombstone gives you hope on the zombies, which explosion explosion just takes away uh, takes uses zombies or corpse or whatever um, to basically uh, you know heal and do a lot of AOE damage. So this this combo is ridiculous. And and the mo the worst part is that this combo is such a good pushing lineup, and that fits into Navi's playing style. They'll just dive behind the tower, turn on the explosion, throw down the tombstone, and there's absolutely nothing you do. Uh, I guess the only thing you can do is just kill down the uh, kill down the tombstone. But keep in mind that you can heal the tombstone as well. You know, MYM has pretty good picks as well. Huskar, uh, you guys know that he's a just crazy hero. You could jump in now. But it's going to be difficult to jump in against this kind of lineup because of the insane amount of heals and also because of the insane amount of uh, AoE damage they could put out. The Necrolite, I do like this pick because you can one-shot these heroes if they get around half HP. So the Huskar uh, Necro is a pretty pretty nifty combo. Uh, not as good as the Pit Lord uh, Undying combo. Especially if you could time the healing down right, uh, you can just... Um, you know, nullify that one hit KO combo. I think this Bristleback is to counter the zombie, the corpses. Although, I'm not too sure how much you want to. I mean, Bristleback is 
is a hero that deals damage very very slowly and slowly over time with his krill sprays and whatnot but unfortunately you want to kill these heroes as soon as possible i thought you know if you pick a necrolite you want to you might want to continue that trend and pick a lot of uh, quick killing heroes but both teams looks like they're going to just drag the team fight out we see sentinel going for a lot more healing oriented so i thought there was going to be more of a one you know wombo combo kind of uh, killing lineup but this lineup is going to be geared towards more healing and outlasting your opponents meanwhile this lineup is going to be like uh, I guess we'll just kill you. This this lineup looks a little bit more like a, like a, you know instant kill lineup. Um, it doesn't seem like it, but Tiny do a buttload of AOE damage. Uh, the Nyx and the Spirit Breaker, they just run in charging. Keep in mind that you have some nifty combos now. You could do a Charge of Darkness with the Infest of the Nyx in the, uh, in the uh, Spirit Breaker, and he pops out and do a lot of damage. And we have a Lycan being last picked up. Very, very interesting. So in terms of laning predicament, we have, what, nine melee heroes? Yes, nine melee heroes plus the Necrolite. And the laning is going to just be absolute everywhere. I don't even know. Misery most likely is going to be solo mid with the uh, um, Huskar, and then we're going to have Lycan most likely in the jungle. Yeah, he is going to go for jungle build, sending two wolves out for the scout. And uh, meanwhile, I don't know what Navi's going to be doing, but most likely going to be pushing Tiny, played by Dendi, who's most likely going to solo mid. Uh, they might do a bot solo of some sort, and then a trialing top. That's most likely it. But no, it looks like they're going to send four heroes top. I don't think they have any smokes. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think this is a smoke gang. They, they might just be quad laning top. It wouldn't be outside of Navi's uh, awkward or interesting or weird or whatever you want to put it. Their playing style, they they do they pull off some weird ass shit. Uh, Lycan doing some uh, cool uh, wolf scouting. If you're playing Lycan jungle, this is exactly what you do. Just send out your wolves. Uh, try to you know find out what where they're laning and whatnot. You can see that if you send it out and then just micro them, you could almost get it to the enemy uh, you know exterior tower or the, the base tower. So if you micro them enough, you could do a lot of scouting. A cool trick with the uh, Lycaning jungle, uh, jungle Lycaning, Lycaning jungle, jungle Lycan jungling. Man, that's hard to say. A uh, cool trick with Lycan Jungle is that if you time it correctly, maybe when the clock gets to 11 seconds when it's counting up, summon your Sir Wolves and then spend it, uh, send it to uh, the level 1 camp. What that allows you to do is that you already have a pair of Wolves coming out and then you're going to walk out the base with this wolf, uh, with the main Wolf and with full mana. So that's a pretty good thing to do. Uh, Demon still hasn't bought anything. Let's see if that's what it's going to do. NYM is going to do a Necro, a uh, battle lane that's going to be a heal, heal intensive lane. Hard lane to take down. And it looks like that's, that's not what Demon's doing. So Demon, eh, come on, summon your wolves and then, okay, whatever. And then we're going to do a Bristleback solo bot, and that's pretty standard laning. Meanwhile, we have Invisible Spirit Breaker. I, I'm not too sure what he took uh, first. Maybe Greater Bash, seeing that uh, now they're going to go for a kill. Pitlor is in the lane. They don't suspect anything. We have two enemy heroes coming in against MY. MY is surrounded by four. They are in trouble. Are we going to have a Pit of Malice there? Wound, Pit of Malice, there's a level 1 Tombstone as well. A lot of damage, Melk knows that he's going to die. It just runs the other way so that Pusher doesn't die. I think that's the wrong strategic choice. You should always run towards Pusher and, uh, you know, get a kill against him as well. Tombstone, uh, you wow, just timing out already. So, very easy first blood picked up by the uh, Navi guys. And they are going to need that first blood because they're going to be at, what, quad lane top. I think Nyx is going to be doing a little bit of jungling, but he took level 1 Wound. So, he doesn't, he won't have Feast. In terms of a life stealing, I think he's going to do a couple of pulling. Yeah, he is going to do a, a bit pulling. And this pull not only would give a Nyx a level 2, also, but it would just stack up these amount of creeps with the next wave of creeps. So we're going to see a eight or you know eight or 9 creeps going towards the MYM tower. And unfortunately for MYM, they don't have the enough AoE to defend this uh, kind of push. Expulsion being picked up by uh, the Pit Lord. I think he's going to go Firestorm 3, 4, and 5. And that is going to mean a tower going to go down. Uh, yeah, Pusher Street and, uh, and Melk is not going and have an AF AOE to get it, withstand this push. So I'm not too sure where they're going at. It's worth to point out that MYM does not have a stun. Uh, the only real, like a mini stun they have is Milk's ult. That's it. So meanwhile, the Scourge team, they have what? Uh, one stun, two stun, like three stun here. Uh, I guess four stun. They have they have a couple stuns, and a lot of those stuns are AOE. So I guess MYM, I mean, they have they're pretty good in terms of, uh, you know, killing lineups. But they don't have any stuns, so we might see enemy air her heroes be able to TP out. Again, this is a pub game. Well, this is a show match, but with the most published lineup, with this is a this is a uh, something that you will see in a lot of pub games. Just like random heroes that don't really uh, do too much. But uh, both teams have a lot of synergy. As we see, a hasted tiny coming in. They're gonna go for milk once again. Milk zero and two, two minutes into the game, and it looks like Pusher is gonna die this time as well. And that was a two, what uh, three, you know, advantage for Navi, and they're gonna transition into push. This is what still left one tombstone. I think he did love. Yeah, he. 
uh, I'm dying just to level up Tomb Tomb right now. And uh, wow, just oh, <laughs> oh my god, this is a Towers racist. Uh, not an art style's hyping, and he turns on explosion, but he is gonna die. This tower is like, you know what, Navi? I know you are. Uh, you want to kill me, but fuck you. I'm gonna kill you back. I don't care if you're uh, art style, whatever. Um, this this tower this tower is trained by MYM. Like they know what's up. But uh, these creeps, unfortunately, there's just too many around. Push, uh, Melt draws the creeps off, but another creep, a wave of creep comes. Um, I think that was. Eh, I think Pusher might have wanted to draw the other wave of creeps, but this is a very early level one tower. Um, what? <clears throat> a four, three minute tower, and I think Bristleback, a uh, Spirit Breaker, charged all the way his, uh, all the way down to the bot lane. <clears throat> Saw him uh, whizzing across the mini map really, really quickly. And now we do have the Lycan Jungle. Uh, Lycan Jungle, if uh, you know. In theory, you could come out of uh, the jungle 20 minutes with Radiance, Treads, and Vlads. And let's see if uh, Demon, uh, you know, PIA said that once. So let's see if Demon is as good as jungling in uh, compared to uh, compared to PIS. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, mid lane, we have uh, Misery uh, going for the urn most likely, and then Tiny. Tiny already got a gank up. He does have a bottle finish. So I don't think these two guys could kill each other. If the Huskar, you know, be a little bit more aggressive, all you need to do is throw an Avalanche, and maybe even toss him back. Um, <clears throat> likewise, I don't think Tiny's nuke damage is going to be enough to kill Huskar, especially if he has Inner Vitality plus Berserker's Blood um, in combination. Now we have Tiny, another Haste Rune, and man, Tiny's really, really lucky finding this rune. He's going to get another gank going on. Meanwhile, Pitlord going to mid lane, getting a couple level. He, do, he does have the Soul Ring finish, and now we see the uh, dive going on. They're going to go for Push Retreat. No, they're going to go for Necrolite. There is a heal, but uh, Tiny here. Uh, avalanche, Avalanche Toss. I don't think it's even necessary. Then he's actually typing in that. He's just right clicking the uh, the milk milk's gonna go down zero and three and uh, the only kill so far the mym has gotten is uh, the, that racist tower against ukrainians tiny uh, doing a little bit of avalanche house action not gonna get it done and now we have uh, MYM, me meanwhile transitioning to a push at the bot lane. That's exactly what you need to do. Meanwhile, Mania pushing down the lanes using his uh, hard cool back. A uh, quilled filled back uh, to draw away the crease. Meanwhile, um, Demon doing that push on, on his own, and he's gonna do it with the Bring of Pesadus plus the Law Wolves. So this is what MYM needs to do: push the other lanes. And here it comes Undying. Are they gonna drop down Tombstone? I don't think you get too much done. If let's say a Sur Spirit Breaker got a couple bash, and they might have been able to do it. Man, this game's already. This is five minutes in, by the way. This is three towers taken down. Uh, no, two towers taken down. No, three. Mid mid tower de uh, got denied. So three towers down, uh, five minutes in. This is insane. Nyx might be in a little bit of trouble, and I think he's going to be fine. Uh, again, no stuns. No stun on this uh, on the MYM lineup. So the enemy heroes could just run, uh, literally run out. Like, how often do we see that? Uh, only in pubs, I guess. Uh, I, if you ever pick a, a pro lineup without any stuns, you are uh, in trouble. I, I do applaud MYM's pick. So this is a show match. So they are picking fun stuff. Meanwhile, I have to say, Navi's playing some try-hard picks, uh, you know. I mean, Pit Lord, Spirit Breaker, Undying, these are some try hard picks. I do like the, the Tiny. Uh, I guess the Nyx is a pretty try hard pick as well. But whatever, it's a show match. They're supposed to have fun. And I think they're having somewhat of a fun game, I guess. Pusher, as always, is not having fun because he's buying wards and he's feeding. Charge of Darkness level 2 is being picked up. Are they going to make a gank on the, uh, on the Bristleback? They can. Bristleback is level 6. Meanwhile, uh, Spirit Breaker is going to go for a Ring of Health, and we have a three or four guys coming down, and oh my god, Spirit Breaker. Uh, no, they're going to go for a Rick Roll. Are they going to bash him? Are they going to bash him? Oh, he did get a bash. Are they going to drop to him? So no, they're not. Gonna Tiny going to come in as well. I think this tower at the bot lane is not long for life, so this is cue for Milk and, uh, and Pusher Street to push up against the top lane. Uh, Nyx in no way in hell could defend this. They should have, well, well, he's denying against, yo, Milk, do some physical harass, will you? Come on, come on, Nyx is making you look bad, wow, Nyx is just denying everything, wow, three denies, one creep kills against a range hero, no, come on, man, come on, you're better than this, uh, meanwhile, at 